The opening titles, which everyone claims is the best part of the movie, are sort of my amalgamation of the old and new looks. It's got the flashy things and whooshy sound effects, the time tunnel, the logo, which is a retro-modernization composite of logos of the past and future, and the TARDIS banging around. From the very first, I knew I wasn't going to profit by this in any way or cast Doctor Who or anyone in a bad light, so when it came to copyright infringement, we went all out. Original BBC sound effects all the way. I managed to work up the opening sequence without using any CGI at all, or chroma key, or stills, it's mostly handheld. The paper TARDIS is about three inches high, all one piece of paper, I sketched it out and knocked it together with a bit of sticky tape. And of course it's uh, just on a stick as I kind of twirl and wiggle it around. This is the original theme composition, it was created from a MIDI file that some bloke posted online, I just liked it so I nicked it and I added some reverberation. It was either build a nine-foot-tall blue shed or use forced perspective, which admittedly didn't work out as planned, due to the slope of the yard and the autofocus of the camera. So this is done as a series of dissolves. But this is one shot, and this is another shot, with the light blinking. And then here's another shot... going to the live action. Obviously, making a movie like this involves numerous shots, and complications along the way can involve more than one shooting. I uh, hear the doctor tests the local gravity with his yo-yo, a la Tom Baker. And they're turning on the car alarm with the sonic screwdriver. Shame about the autofocus, because the sonic screwdriver really does look marvelous. I wrestled with whether I should portray the doctor smoking a cigarette. Actually, I forgot I had the cigarette, and it was 80 degrees, so I only did the one take. And here's the umbrella completely out of frame. And the Dalek sees the Doctor. The Dalek is not being pulled along with a piece of string. String wouldn't stay on, so I'm pushing it with my hand. You can see the reflection in the TARDIS. The Doctor um, confuses the Dalek with his umbrella. And he runs away. The Dalek lets fly. But the Doctor escapes. And the Dalek is dejected. And titles, more video transformation effects. I basically decided to use all of the transform effects available in the free version of the software, sometimes all at once. It really takes time when you undertake a project of this scope, on this epic scale. There's a commitment. The filming alone took all morning, then the editing took up the afternoon, and the sound most of the evening. At the end of the day, you know you've done something amazing, and that's a wonderful feeling. The finale is very shiny, another fan favorite. Many people tell me that their favorite part of the movie is when it ends.